YouTube, 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 it's Rico in this bit. Gang, gang, in this bit. But, um, y'all see what we're getting into this video for today, man. Simply, I just want to give y'all a little advice on this virus, man. So, I don't know where to start. Yes, I do. Alright, so this is how it's going to go, man. I ain't going to hold this video too long for y'all. I ain't going to make it too long. But, um, one thing to know about the, the virus pandemic going on right now people the mask that y'all using if y'all using masks and shit don't work because if you was gonna get it you're gonna get it regardless because no mask don't hold shit from anybody like those is basically if you're sick so you don't spread it so pretty much you tell them motherfuckers i'm sick that's why i got my mask on because for y'all that think oh i got a mask on i ain't gonna be able to breathe it in or get it from anybody no that's not gonna work it's gonna still get to you if it wanted to get to you and you're gonna get sick no matter what either way anyway two gloves is fine if you want to be extra um cautious gloves are fine it don't matter i don't think it really matters what kind but Either the clear gloves or the colored gloves, like the like basically the doctor gloves, pretty much. So um, those are fine as well to wear during work or just in general if you're out in public right now. Those will help too, just so you don't touch anything that might possibly been touched by somebody sick in general. Um, not specifically for anybody. It's just mainly anybody that gets sick, pretty much. It could be with the virus or just the common cold or the flu or whatever. It just pretty much that helps you stay extra protected. But mask again does not work unless you got some shit like how you see in the movies where the government got those specialized breathing ventilating masks. Those only the ones that's gonna really work. But if you ain't got that, you just wearing a mask. Just be wearing. Or unless you're sick and don't want to get it to somebody else. Number three, wash your hands at least three to four times a day. And we got a wild mini that appeared in the background. Anyway, um, <laughs> wash your hands at least. They, I believe, I was told and seen reported as well on online that you should wear. But, um, what I was going to say, yeah, wash your hands at least three or four times a day. If you feel like you touched a lot within that time frame, like, say, you ain't got to wash them every hour, but if you feel like you touched a lot of stuff and within that time frame outside of your house, then I would say at least wash it anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour after touching so many or different things that that's not at your actual um, living establishment. So yeah, at least wash them three or four times a day. Number four, sanitation. Um, say you don't need to wash your hands, you ain't really doing too much, but you just wanna every hour or every couple of hours, make sure your hands are still sanitized and stuff. Use hand sanitizer, no matter what kind, any that is antibacterial you want to use pretty much sanitizer is self-explanatory um ignore that i ain't gonna edit that out but um yeah anyway hand sanitation number five um uh, number five is actually supposed to be at the top of the list right now just because it's known that either way if you use social distancing distancing um that will help prevent Anybody that potentially has the virus or any common cold symptoms or flu in general, you want to use social distancing, meaning you're not really around that many groups of people. Um, at, at a time, you're not around more than maybe two or three other people at a time. So you definitely want to stay away as much as possible from groups of other people that you might not know or be around like that on a daily hence going to grocery stores and all that you only want to go to the grocery stores unless you unless you really necessarily have to you don't want to just go there just to be like everybody else trying to hurry up and grab tissue 
Cause tissue ain't gonna help. I don't know who the fuck told y'all tissue is gonna help y'all fight the virus. Like what the fuck? A virus is a virus. Tissue is not anything special that's gonna, oh, you got a tissue, you got this amount of tissue, you ain't gonna catch the virus. I'm like no, you gonna get it, it's <laughs> simple. So um, yeah, you don't wanna be that person going in there buying up everything and, and uh, large quantities, then you have to tissue. And people, I know a lot of us probably do use wipes on the daily, but don't go in the baby section taking all the damn wipes. Like, damn, baby still gotta have wipes too, though. You know? Don't, you don't wanna be that person buying them there. 10 packs of wipes and shit you ain't even got no baby or no little ass kid or nothing like on the daily even if you are somebody that use wipes don't nobody just have 10 plus packs of wipes to have like no be like a regular person and get maybe one or two just to just just to get one or two shit you ain't even gotta have a reason you just get one or two don't be that person buying up five to ten packs and shit and fucking it up for all the little kids and babies that might need those and shit. You grown ass person. Um, but yeah, social distancing. You definitely just want to stay away from large groups of people. Like I said, you don't want to be around nobody more than two or three people at, at, at a time. And then um, when you go to the store, like I said, just get what you actually need. Like for that week or yo. On your regular daily living schedule like you was doing before the virus became what it was a big ass pandemic that's got people going crazy in the stores and shit just do your normal shopping you ain't gotta go too crazy and shit that's that simple and like nobody really gonna have us sitting in the house even even if y'all believe that one day that might happen it really ain't because think about it when the flu happened we didn't stay in quarantine in our house for no damn 30 or 14 days the um most i heard even the government they only quarantine for up to 14 days so that's two weeks it ain't really like oh yeah everybody i stay in their house for a month like no that ain't gonna never happen no matter what and that is just thing unless it's just one of those things like like i said in the movies where you got zombies and shit in a whole part of the city or something getting quarantined and got this like big ass bubble around them and shit that's the only time you're gonna fuck around and be stuck in the house for that many amounts of time. But uh, that ain't gonna really ever happen. And uh, yeah, social distancing, practicing, it'll definitely help prevent the virus from spreading in large groups of numbers, especially when we already got a vaccine for it. Uh, number six, during this time, just check on your older relative. Cause right now the virus is really only affecting the older generation of people. It's not really affecting people like around me and Mimi age. We like in our she from 18 to my 21. I'm turning 22 tomorrow. But um yeah, shout out to y'all for not y'all know on my birthday tomorrow. But um yeah, it's not really affecting nobody in our age group. Like it's not affecting nobody that's below 50 and shit like that. Only people that's 50 and up maybe you might want to be worried about and check on them a lot more but um yeah man even the people that's getting it right now i know they just said Adrius uh, silva i don't even know how to say bro name but y'all know who i'm talking about the actor that just tested positive today and it's been breaking news everywhere um he said he's doing fine he ain't panicking or nothing just because of the simple fact he doesn't he said he doesn't have any symptoms like he hasn't been having any symptoms of being sick or anything like that so it's a lot of people even uh, sports athletes and shit like that is getting it but they're not having symptoms so people don't panic um but right now we just never know who got it and who, who don't got it pretty much just because you can be somebody with no symptoms and have it so if you think you Ah, uh, don't touch this, don't touch that. You, nine times out of ten, gonna get it just because you touch something that probably thousands of other people have touched already. So, mask and shit really ain't gonna work unless, like I said, you got gloves on um, just to be extra precautious. Um, gloves is probably the only real way you're gonna not touch anything infected and 
attention with skin to object contact. Um, but yeah, that's self-explanatory, like I said. But um, yeah, man. That's pretty much all the advice I got for y'all, man. One, I'm gonna just do it right now. Social distancing, number one. Two, sanitation. Make sure you stay clean. I always wash your hands. All that good shit. Three. Don't go to the store over shopping like crazy people and shit. Just shop like regular and don't just don't take all the wipes from the babies and the little kids, man. So, four. Um, check on loved ones and relatives, like I said, especially the ones that's older than fifty. Definitely want to check on them because that's the only real group that's getting affected by the virus at the moment. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, just keep gloves or something. A mask. Don't don't even worry about the fucking mask. Like I said, the mask is is it gonna stop you from getting anything? If you're gonna get sick with the virus, you're gonna get sick with the virus. The mask won't do anything unless you got the mask off the movies where in the apocalypse the government got them ventilation masks and shit. Unless you got one of them, shit. Sick if you got one of them. It's just that simple. But if you got the regular shit that you see everybody with, with the little paper mask and shit, you're gonna get the virus regardless if it was to happen. But um, other than that, man, that's pretty much the end of this video. Um, yeah, man, that's just a little advice. Um, Y'all gonna be seeing the same type of advice everywhere. Cause even celebrities and doctors and shit have bashed the media because of how they portray the virus, where somehow people thought in their mind they had to go get hella tissue and stock up on hella food and shit and it's not even that serious it is serious but it's not that serious because the media got y'all looking crazy right now y'all buying all these quantities of food and tissues and all that shit soap and all that shit when realistically all you gotta do is just stay clean and watch who you be around and for extra precautions just do a little shoulder dab or something i mean little elbow dab or fist bump or little foot bump or some shit don't be hugging anybody that you don't really be around on a daily or talk to in general just fist bump or anything something like that just to be cautious but, um, that's basically part of social distancing as well but yeah, man, that's the end of the advice video for y'all. Hope you guys got some good um, advice from this video. If you did, leave a like. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment and like. Subscribe if you're brand new. Yeah, and share this video. Just keep on sharing, man. We're on the ground to 1K, man. It's simple. But that's the end of this video for y'all. And I'll see y'all later on with more videos. Peace. My shooters gonna hop up the van.